I'm gonna have a freaking heart attack. Look at these cards, you guys. Oh! What? Dude, these cards. Oh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, we got a good one for you today. I recently have rediscovered one of arguably the coolest Pokemon card binders in my entire collection. This is a binder filled with vintage Japanese cards. If you appreciate some good vintage cards, you are gonna appreciate this collection. I was freaking out over some of these cards. So without further ado, let's get into it. Ooh. Get a glimpse of this guy. Some of the packs on the outside of this are so freaking rare. First edition Neo, first edition Team Rocket. Oh, legendary collection pack right there. Base set, Expedition, Jungle. Oh, Neo again, Neo Genesis first edition. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. What is in this binder? Might surprise you. <laughs> Starting it off here, we have a complete set. Guys, the completed set of the Japanese gym challenge. I got a full 60 pack booster box of gym challenge. Guys, and each one of those packs came with a holographic. That was a wild time, I do have to say. This card right here, you guys, is probably one of the more rare cards in this binder. Blaine's Charizard from Japanese gym. Absolutely, I wanna say stunning, but also I'm intimidated. I'm freaking intimidated. I don't wanna mess with Charizard right now. But that card is fabulous, totally fabulous. And there's also an Erica's Venusaur in here. Where is she? Oh, the first card right here, Erica's Venusaur. But it's interesting to note that the Japanese cards organize them by color, but in the English ones, they were organized alphabetically. The beast, right quick. So right here, this whole row is hollow. You have the Gyarados, Raichu, and the Zapdos right there. Great page. Love the freaking slow poke on that one too. Oh, he's so handsome. Moving on, check this page out. You got your Gengar. You got Sabrina's Gengar right there. You got your Mewtwo, Rocket's Mewtwo. And then moving on to this page, you got your Giovanni's Persian. The Persian, man. Now that Persian looks sick. I love how well the hollow shines through on that one. It's weird, cause like, it's like specific colors, like the Alakazam, the Gengar, and the Mewtwo all don't really shine that bright. But look at these freaking, like look at these ones. Those ones are glowing radiating. Homie, what is you up to? Oh, this Sabrina right here. Oh, I forgot about this Sabrina card. This Pokemon card right here was actually, I don't wanna say a banned card. They had to reprint this card differently in English because they were worried that it was gonna look like Sabrina flipping the bird with her finger on the Pokeball like that. So that one was Vsauce. The English artwork looks nothing like that at all. Oh my gosh, two of them. In, there was two of them in this. This one in Japanese as well, they had to reprint. Look at that, look at that symbol right there. I, I, don't, I don't know what that is. No, but yeah, so they definitely had to reprint this card. That symbol is actually not in any way affiliated with like any kind of racial thing. It just happens to strongly resemble um, the Swastikon accent. Not going there, but yeah, that it's not the proper symbol, but they had to change it because it looked too similar to it. Not a good move, Pokemon. Ugh, that's so unfortunate. Anyway, so you see here, this is like the last chunk of them. These are all trainer cards. So it goes through all of the Pokemon and then you get the trainer cards here. And then, oh, wait a minute. Oh, so it looks like they had a holographic Giovanni in this very cool but then <laughs> oh my god yo hold up i can't believe guys i have had these sitting just hanging out in the pokey cave for like 10 years maybe not that okay i'm gonna say a solid eight years they've just been vibing on the side look at these gorgeous gorgeous Japanese Pokemon cards. This is a first edition from Expedition. We got Team Rocket Dark Blastoise. Dark Blastoise, we got some jungle cards in here, more Team Rocket. This is a Neo Genesis Lugia. <gasps> Oh my freaking God, a Neo Revelation Entei. That's one of my favorite hollows from Neo Rev. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This binder is like, seriously, eye candy. If you like the vintage cards, once again, we are gonna be goo goo ga -ga ing over these adorable cards. So you got the Articuno from Fossil, cool Porygon right there. This is arguably one of my favorite uh, Slow King artworks as well. He's got a couple of old school ones that I strongly, strongly appreciate. I have a feeling with the new Pokemon DLC, we might be seeing Slow King again in some more Pokemon cards, which would be great because I love Slow King. Are you freaking kidding me? Look at the, oh my god. Bro, come on. Come on. What? Look at all of these fabulous, fabulous vintage Japanese cards. 
another gorgeous Team Rocket card. We have another Jim card right here. These ones are also from Jim. This one's from Fossil. I got another Fossil here. So some of these cards I did get when I was younger, so the condition on them is not superb. However, I did pull a lot of these cards. Oh, that Togepi one. I love the Southern Islands Japanese cards. Those are fantastic. Some of them I did pull myself, so they are minty, minty fresh. But yeah, others have just been in this collection for a long time, literally since I got them, like 15, 20 years ago. A lot of these Japanese ones, aside from the Gym Challenge set that we, of course, just went through, I did not have a complete set for any of these. I just happened to, like, one-off open some packs of them so these from expedition first edition gorgeous cards right there some of the neo sets i happen to open as well but man look at th this arcanine <gasps> did i just gasp at the sight of a pokemon card you know what we'll take it look at this gorgeous gorgeous card that is beautiful guys absolutely beautiful <laughs> oh my god this binder dude like i said this is one of my coolest pokemon card binders honestly one of my favorite binders that i own so i'm so happy to share this with you guys if you are hype and you want to see more of my vintage card collection guys don't forget to drop a like leave a comment let me know what your favorite card from this binder is and it just keeps going hello we have some more neo cards here that one is sick this typhlosion hold on where did i get this one excuse me sir you can really not see the holographic on that i promise it's there it's very hard to see but this wapafet is like so straightforward for some reason like cards with artworks like this i am way more drawn to it's just like really like in your face like i am this pokemon you don't need a background because i am here it's a really nice artwork for that wapafet gorgeous this cloister i remember pulling from a pack as well that was a very very fun opening once again the japanese cards guys look so nice they put just a little touch of extra quality into the japanese ones and it really really paid off because these cards are gorgeous this card right here are you serious i've just been hanging on to this bad boy this is a blastoise from the squirtle the japanese squirtle deck but this is a very iconic artwork once again it's got this this special symbol down here with the little squirtle on it oh no squirtle boy Fabulous, fabulous Blastoise. We got a Yen Mega. These cards, a couple of these, I can already see the edge wear and the, uh, there's like a bit of a crease in them. So the quality on these ones is pretty bad. However, I think they still look great in the binder. For, so for some of these cards, I'm definitely leaving them in here. For some of the, the mint condition ones, I, I may go ahead and send them off to get graded. Looks like the Japanese ones aren't necessarily as valuable as the, uh, the English ones, but honestly, it'll be a great addition to the graded card collection anyway. Charizard, bro. That's the second appearance. That is the second appearance of the Zard, baby. Yo, chill out with that. Oh my god. Look at these cards. That one is really hitting some nostalgia. We've got the Venusaur right here. Oh, this Venusaur promo is... This one is not mint condition, however, it's pretty close. It's close. Um, but wow, dude. Oh my god, bro. This... I, I love this binder so much. This dark Charizard. A dark Charizard Japanese from Team Rocket. Look at that bad boy right here. Mm-mm-mm. Wow. Just wow. Are you guys geeking out about these cards as much as I am? Because, like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. These are... I <sighs> I've had these in my collection for so long that it's weird because I feel like I low-key didn't realize. Like, I was just collecting them just to, like, you know, collect them and have a bunch and, you know, show off my cool collection. But I had kind of low-key forgotten about them for a while. Here's the third. A third. Giovanni's Gyarados in here. This was one of the coolest Snorlax artworks, too. I know I was just talking about the Rocket Snorlax from earlier, but oof. That boy. Oh, here is the Lieutenant Surge's Magneton. I believe this one was in Gym Heroes. I don't think that one was in Gym Challenge. So this is actually probably one of the only Lieutenant Surge's Magnetons I have. Once again, I think that's a repeat from earlier in the set. But we also got the, oh, the Magneton from Rocket. A couple of Neogenesis Ampharoses. Ampharosaws, if you will. Here's a couple of cards from the EX series. This one is from Team Aqua and Magma, I believe, and this one's from uh, EX Team Rocket Returns. EX Team Rocket Returns is one of my favorite Pokemon card sets of all time, if not my favorite of all time, just in case anyone was wondering. Oh my! 
this like the hype just don't stop i think i was a big fan like gym challenge is one of my favorite sets along with ex team rocket along with a couple of the other vintage sets but i just went ham on opening gym challenge i had the english box i had the japanese box which was once again a 60 pack box those things were stacked and they came with a hollow in like every pack so i had the opportunity to get multiple of some of my favorite Pokemon cards from this set. And now this is the one section of the binder, this back part that is not in Japanese. This part is in English, but I put it in here, I think mostly because my other binder was like just full, like I couldn't fit any other cards in it. This is a completed holographic set from base set two. I do not have all of the commons and uncommons and rares from this set. However, I was able to secure the bag on every holographic card in this set. Bada bing. Bada boom, Mr. Worldwide when I step in the room. But yeah, so this set, base set two is a reprint of a few of the earlier sets. As you can see, you've got some cards from jungle in here. You got some ones from base set. Um, so they dabbled around a little bit. I think it was mostly jungle and, and base set, to be honest with you. There may have been some fossil in there, I'm not sure. Yo, hold on, I wanna show off, cause these cards, I know you guys are gonna, gonna hound me for not giving you a nice close-up of homie the Zard right here. The legend himself. I'm actually getting this one PSA graded. It is mint to near mint. I think it's gonna get at least an eight. I'm hoping for a nine on that. It's actually, there's like a couple of bits of edge where I'm actually thinking it's gonna get a nine. I'm really excited about that. Here is a full page of legendary collection reverses. These are commons and uncommons from legendary collection. Look at the shiny shine on those boys right there. And then Nidorino gets his own separate page. And then, this was just for poops and gigs. I almost just took this out of this binder for this video, but I decided to leave it in. This is my collection of Growlithe that people have been sending me in the mail over the years. This is my favorite Growlithe artwork of all time. It is the Shining Legends, rather the legendary collection Growlithe card right here. While we've got, we've got one page, two pages, three pages full of the English ones and a few odd extras. Then we've got the Korean ones. We've got the Korean ones right here and then the Japanese ones on the next page. That is a, an absolute monstrosity. And then some random floor just for some reason. But yeah, guys, this is arguably one of the coolest Pokemon card sets in my collection. I would say for most people, the, the coolometer goes up around right here. Like these are probably some of the coolest pages. Yeah, what do you think of this? What was your favorite card? from our binder. I feel like there's so many. Once again, we got the complete gym challenge set right here. Lots of spicy cards in there. Lots of banned Pokemon cards as well. Holographics galore. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Be sure to stay tuned for more vintage old school Pokemon card videos. Or if you want to see our collection videos, be sure to check out the complete set playlist. Complete set playlist. Yes. Oh, y'all. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for the support on the streams, for the support on the videos. I really, really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys next time. Bye!